Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some robots for Hansel Heavy Hands. Today, we're going to continue questing with him. Dendosaurs, whatever sore is more like it. Bunions, lad. Me bunions got bunions. How am I supposed to do any sort of killing with me feet in such disarray? That's why you're going to help me. Scrange and Bernanette asked me to kill those things so they can send some expeditionary teams down into the slag pit lava pools to do some exploring. Supposedly some indescendosaurs or some such nonsense down there causing all kinds of problems. Now move along and don't come back till the incendosaur population be extinct. We're going to get a loofah for that. Which uh, removes a bleed effect. Alright, so let's jump down here and we'll head over to the slag pit. Which is the depths of the Searing Gorge. Then after this, we will be done questing with Hansel Heavy Hands. Surprised we haven't seen any uh, any other players here right now. All right, so we got to find the spot here. We are at the cauldron. Should be a spot for us to jump down. Yeah, right here this looks good. All right, so we need to do another jump. Hopefully we can survive this. It's right here. And try to get on this box. Hopefully we don't pull this uh, dark iron slaver. Oh, it looks like we no. might pull him. Okay, we should have been a little bit more patient. Damn, my mouse isn't working. Not good. There we go. Okay, so let's heal up. We'll make our way down. We have a big Diablo 4 announcement. Happened last uh, couple of days it's crazy how uh, Xbox owns Activision Blizzard now I always forget about that it's pretty cool how it's gonna be on Xbox as well but I don't know if that's really good for uh, Diablo like it is good for uh, I guess the player base but maybe the game could have looked uh, even better than it already does it was a uh, PC exclusive. Sendosaur scales. It looks great. I hope uh, there's there isn't a, a system in the game that uh, makes it like Diablo immortal monetary wise. I'm not a big fan of paying money for rifts, but if it's sort of like Diablo 3, but with just a, you know, with a shop, then I kind of won't mind that. Also, Bethesda's releasing a new game as well. Well, Bethesda Xbox, I should say. That's another company owned by X by Microsoft now. And that's Starfield. And a lot of people are saying it's like a No Man's Sky copy. Which it pretty much is. Oh, he's a mana pot here. We actually forgot to buy manas. We're in a little bit of trouble. Only got five left. Okay, so let's heal up here. Should probably use Shamanistic Rage so we can preserve a little bit of mana. 
won't be using too many totems today, that's for sure. Where's our hurt at? Iron Forge. Probably a better idea for us to earth out of here to go, and go to Iron Forge instead of um, instead of like trying to trek our way out of this cave. This place looks exactly like Molten Core. Surprised it's not connected to Molten Core. Would have been cool. I guess it's better that it's in the Blackrock Mountain, though, but. Would have been cool if there was, like, a secret entrance in the slide pits. Well. Okay, so here we go. Time to have our first mana. We got seven down. With a pot and a full bar. Probably use Gift of the Naru after this just to get our health back up. So Dead Side's coming out with a with a re Dead Space, I mean. <laughs> it's coming out with a remake. I think there's a game called Dead Side too. I think that game would look pretty cool with uh, updated graphics. Alright, healing up. Surprised there's no alliance down here, or horde. Pretty big spot. And Wrath of the Lich King is getting, um... Fresh servers. Pretty happy about that. I was kind of worried um, that they would, you know, let a bunch of people just transfer over after the three-month period that they talked about. But it seems like they will only do that if there is population issues. So, he said it's not, like, guaranteed that it'll happen after 90 days. Would say they have population issues, you know, over 600 days in. In the future, then yeah, they'll let people transfer over, but if you do want to play there, you will most likely have to level up there. Unless there's like a population problem. I thought that was pretty good. And you will be able to boost a character on that server, which I th thought was kind of lame. But not right away. So I think that's good. So it's like two months in, you could use like uh, your Wrath of Lich King level 68 boost there. That should that won't affect the server at all, really. It's, like gold-wise, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, but the only problem is, is there will be less people leveling. Because I think a lot of people will probably, you know, value their time and say, you know what, I'm not going to level. I'd rather just wait and then pay the money and get a character up. The good thing is people can only do that once. 
And if I had a boost, I would probably do the same. I would probably boost on that server as well. I probably will if I get a boost. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Thinking about leveling a DK on that server. I have a feeling the faction balance will be pretty good. I hope. I think DK is a good choice because you're kind of ahead of the pack. But with my, uh, I did a let's play. Then most likely I would probably fall behind the pack in, uh, you know, a month. <laughs> It's gonna take me some time to level up. Especially if I keep doing it. If I just do it like, you know, day by day. Here we go, we got another Incendosaur. Why does it wouldn't have any other like mobs here? It's just the Sensors. We got two more manas left. This will use our last mana pot, give us a little bit of bag space. This will use our shamanistic rage here. This also helps us regen mana. And we sure I don't forget about that. Good amount of mana regen. Your melee attacks have a chance to regenerate mana equal to 30% of your attack power. So you don't really run into mana issues once you get Shamanistic Rage. Which is good, because it's kind of lame if you would... Like, imagine how bad Enhanced Shaman would be. You just always ran into mana issues on boss fights, like after you, like on a long boss fight. If you didn't have Shamanistic Rage, you'd be pretty much screwed. Cooldown's pretty quick as well. It's like two minutes. Oh, look at this. Problem is we don't have Shamanistic Rage for this battle. Maybe just get to the Naru here. Hurt that here, I'm gonna make sure I purchase a bunch of uh, manas. I wonder what these Incendosaur scales are for. I think you need them, I think I remember using them for fire resist armor back in the beginning of Classic for Molten Core. Because I used to uh, tank in Classic. And you needed a fire resist set to kill Rag. And also uh, Baron Geddon. Probably just sell the scales. I doubt anybody's using them. This is gonna be our last one. And then we'll first back to Iron Forge. Remember I'll play when Diablo comes out. I like Druid. I like how they added Druid. Cool class. It's one that they don't have in Diablo 3. Alright, so let's earth back to Iron Forge, get some waters, and then we'll make our way back to Hansel. Turn this quest in. 
I've the finest wares in the land. Alright, we'll get rid of these. Got the spider silk, white spider meat, don't need any of that. Any other junk? Deep rock salt. Get a bunch of these, uh... These waters, that's enough. Off with you. I think we're okay. And we won two auctions, not bad. Not bad at all. We're gonna need that gold to uh, level up our alchemy eventually. Because we do need to get that caught up. We need it around level 200. And eventually 300 before we go out to Outland. It's cool that there's still people hanging out in Ironforge here. I assume Stormwind's probably the city where most people are. But Ironforge is the closest to uh, the portal in TBC. But I think Stor Stormwind's probably more popular because there's a dungeon that you can go to inside of Stormwind. And you can actually use that dungeon as a hearth to get you back to Shatrath. Do that in Ogremar on my rogue a lot. What you do is you go to uh, go to the dungeon, go in, just you know, jump in by yourself, and then you join a party, and then you leave the party, and then if your hearth's down, it will use your hearth to exit you out of the the dungeon, so you get back, sent back to your hearth spot. My guild calls it a ghetto hearth. So it's pretty good if you're, you know, stranded in Azeroth and you want to get out to Outland, but you don't have your your hearth up. So that's why I probably think uh, most people are probably in Stormwind just for that reason alone. Like if you're in Ironforge, you're literally just hanging out there because you like it. Nice, right, so we're already back. Nearing Gorge. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see any Horde or Alliance today. Last couple episodes we've seen a lot. Well, there we go. There's an Alliance Rogue. Talk to me. Oh, me aching feet. I figured since he didn't have a Lufa. Hey, good. Oh, he used, he used it. Oh, he gave us one. There was the one bleed effect that will not work on bleeds cast by enemies over level 60. So if you, you couldn't use it in, uh, in Outland if you wanted. It's kind of crap. Yeah, guys. Uh, I guess we are done with questing with Hansel Heavy Hands. Next episode, we will continue questing in Searing Gorge. And I think we'll try to queue up for some dungeons. Not too sure if we will be able to get into Sunken Templar Blackrock Depths. But maybe we'll try to do another Maradon so we could, you know, potentially catch up with Travid and the Paladin. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.